What's up guys, I was on a little nostalgia trip the other day, and while I was looking up some old MTV shows I used to watch, I came across something that was buried so deep in my mind, the very thought of it made me cream my panties. Now if you're a fan of Jackass and or the Dudesons, then you probably know of Dirty Sanchez. Who was Dirty Sanchez, some of you may be asking? Well, just think of Jackass, but drunk and more naked. <laughs> Basically, they're the European version of Jackass, not to be confused with the Dudesons, who originally premiered on Spike TV when they were broadcasted in America. Dirty Sanchez, on the other hand, was an MTV UK original that was so popular in the UK that it was the only MTV UK original to be broadcasted in America, which is probably the reason they were able to release a movie the exact same time as Jackass number two. And if you've ever seen Jackass number two, you know that's the most hardcore of the Jackass movies. So to release a similar movie on the exact same day, you know the Sanchez boys knew they had to go all out. And while I can say that some of the stunts that were done in this movie are more over the line than the ones in Jackass, it still wasn't enough. So one big difference in the movies is that the Dirty Sanchez one actually has a theme, believe it or not. After the opening stunt, the four guys, Poncho, Joyce, Pritchard, and Dayton, die and go to hell where they're met by the devil, played by former drug smuggler Howard Marks. I see you on the flip side. Upon meeting him, they are told to go around the world and commit the seven deadly sins, which are lust, greed, gluttony, pride, envy, and sloth. You can look up what they mean on your own time. But basically because of this, the movie is split up into sections, each one having them do stunts related to one of the sins. And while this was a cool way to format a movie like this, it probably would have been better for them if they could have released it closer to when the first Jackass movie came out. But nonetheless, this movie is still crazy as fuck to say the least. So to start it off, they begin with the deadly sin sloth. And the first thing they decide to do is super glue Poncho's nose shut while he's asleep. And while it doesn't seem like much at first, kind of like in the Jackass movies, the interactions between the guys is what makes some of the scenes funny. Proof I doubt this man can fall asleep anywhere in the world. And not to mention their overuse of the word fuck is pretty funny also. Fucking blew my nose up. My nose is fucking super, super glued <laughs> shut. <laughs> so after Poncho gets his nose reopened. Yes, he's gone. The next two stunts involve getting hit with projectile targets, the first being those clay discs for skeet shooting. And again, Poncho is the one who gets the worst of it. Ah! Fuck! Oh! Hang on, no, fuck that! Go take another hit! I can't fucking walk, Dan! The next one is a BB gun in which Dan Joyce says, This is a challenge to see who's the laziest, who's the most stupid. And it ends with Dayton shooting himself in the dick. One! Ah! And Pritchard shooting himself in the forehead. <laughs> Next, we see them play a classic game of darts, but obviously, there is no dartboard present. Don't worry guys, if you thought that was bad, just wait till Pritchard chops off a part of his finger and Joyce tries to eat it. Oh, was I not supposed to mention that? My bad. Don't play fucking darts with Dayton. So next, Poncho just can't seem to catch a break because he gets so drunk he passes out, and while he's passed out, they decide to spray paint him green and cut up his clothes to make him look like the Incredible Hulk. And since that obviously wasn't enough, they decide to wake him up with a water gun full of hot sauce. <laughs> Oh yeah, and they throw these things at him that I thought were eggs at first, but after seeing them bounce off like that, I didn't know what they were anymore. Oh, fuck off. So after Poncho finally realizes he's green... <laughs> On green? Good. <laughs> They move on to Russia, where their next sin of choice is anger. And once again, Poncho is getting fucked with. This time with just a simple shoe to the head. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, this is funny, but not even Danger Aaron was messed with this much. And this is only the first 10 minutes of the movie. I mean, just listen to that smack. You know that was with the heel of the shoe. Anyways, the next prank, or pranks I should say, are finally done on somebody else in the group. 
That being Pritchard. First, he's getting a tattoo that he thinks is going to say, sleep when you're dead. But Dayton is going to make sure that gets lost in translation. And we will know what that says at the end of the movie. But the other prank, which in my opinion is the worst of the two, is they make Pritchard think that he's about to break the world record for the most paintballs taken to the body. The fake record to beat being 102. Who took 102 hits from a distance of 5 meters. So without any hesitation from thinking he's going to be a world record holder, he lets his homies unload on him and he takes it like a fucking champ. And he doesn't chicken out either. He lets every single one of those 103 paintballs hit his body till the very last one. And just to make it even more funnier, they don't tell him the record is fake and let him brag until later on in the movie. World record holder, 103 pink balls to the body. Kelly, kiss my ass, you did 102. Oh yeah, and just in case you needed reassurance that dude's a straight up monster regardless of the record or not, here's this. Look at that fucker! Oh! Oh my god! Fuck me! Look at all that! So now the guys think it's been a little too long since they messed with Poncho and decide to shave his head and pour ketchup all over him. <laughs> He then semi-knocks out Pritchard. <laughs> which moves us on to our next deadly sin on our world tour, Lust in Thailand. Now I'm not sure what I can show you from their trip to Thailand, go figure, but I will do my best to try and show you what I can. Starting off with Poncho getting liposuction with no anesthetic. No more! <laughs> Fucking hell, man! And as you can imagine, they save his fat for future use. That is your fat. I will give you so you can't take the fat home. Next, they go to a ladyboy strip club, and what they're supposed to do is pick the real girl out of the group of boys dressed like girls, get a lap dance, kiss, and then hope you pick the right girl. The thing is, none of them were real girls, and one of the guys isn't having it. Jim, you fucking listening? I am not kissing a man. Fucking end the story. If it was a fucking woman, and I thought it was a fucking woman, and it was a man, might have shit. Not a very sound argument, but hey, I can't blame him. I wouldn't want to kiss a Thailand lady boy either. But after the director comes over and assures him that one of them is a girl. All right, it's Jim, 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 tell him. Yeah, come on, let's is, do it. Is, is it a woman? Is it a woman? Yes. He's ready to play, and what makes it even funnier is that Dayton, the one who was complaining, is the only one who uses his tongue when kissing the stripper and even gets a boner. <laughs> he even got a fucking semi hard on and everything, and he fucking used his tongue when everyone else just kissed him on the lips. So the next thing they do is probably the grossest thing I've ever fucking seen. Basically, a girl goes under the table and they're supposed to guess who she's playing with, and if they don't guess it right, they have to eat a bug. But when the bugs aren't enough, Remember when I said they saved Poncho's liposuction fat? That is your fat. I will give you. Yeah, exactly what you think's about to happen is gonna happen. Now, I'm usually good about watching nasty stuff and not getting nauseous, but good God, this was hard to watch. And I'm not kidding either. Joyce takes not one, but... I can't even fucking... Did you hear that gat? He takes not one, but two spoonfuls of Poncho's man fat and surprisingly gets one of them down <laughs> go on listen it's tomato juice oh! now if you actually want to see him eat poncho's fat because i'm not going to show you that you can there i'm going to leave there's a link to the video a video of just that scene from the movie and i'll leave it in the description but anyway after a very nauseating five minutes we move on to the sin envy and thankfully this is one of the more funnier parts of the movie they start off by doing a crab race to see who will sleep in a five-star hotel or a shitty thailand crack house and without any hesitation we see dayton's crab get out first and then poncho's is right after And while they're chilling on the beach... Champagne uh, punch. It's like cracking open an egg. Joyce and Pritchard are having their own fun. Oh! Uh, that fucking spider! Go stay there! No, stay no, there, no, 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 And something else that happens during their time in Thailand is Dayton finally lets Pritchard know that the world record he broke was fake. Bitch, there's no record for the most painful <laughs> <laughs> Pritchard then challenges Dayton to a boxing match the next day. Shake hands. Don't take it to if I knock you out. Which lasts all of five seconds. <laughs> now they're on to Pride where things start to get gross again. This time they're supposed to jack off into a condom, and whoever's condom is filled up the least, they have to put it on over their head. 
has got to wear this bunky dunky. And eventually, Joyce ends up losing, having to wear the cap of shame. <laughs> Next, they're meeting up with the Tokyo Shock Boys, and don't let the name fool you, most of their shock is just pouring a beer from their head or breaking lights with their ass cheeks. While the Sanchez Boys play a game called Bum Drum, where each of them holds a drumstick with their butt, and then they have to sword fight, and the one that has their drumstick fall out first gets a dirty Sanchez with it. Gets a dirty Sanchez. <laughs> and don't worry, they do more. Like, remember when Steve-O did the butt chug and they made him squirt it out? Well, these guys do it too, only Joyce decides to drink it. <laughs> And then dunk his head into the bucket of ass juice they collected. After they ask the shock boys to join them in Britain for a show, and to nobody's surprise, their answer is no. You must come back to Britain with us and we we do a show together and party together. <laughs> <laughs> no Next, they're meeting up with more Asians, only these ones are crazy and they have to wrestle them. No, no, no! <laughs> but it's what happens after that gets you thinking if you should have ever started watching this movie in the first place. First, they get a hammer with spikes, and one of the Asian dudes takes a whack to the shoulder and doesn't even flinch. Ah! You want more? <laughs> I don't like. Oh really, you fat sushi roll? Did you not like when the guy hit you with a spiked hammer? He said it like if they were expecting him to like it. I don't like. Anyways, I don't know why I thought any different, but again, Pancho gets the raw end of the deal and has to get his tongue stapled. <laughs> now I don't think I can show you that, but I will show you the aftermath. <laughs> That's when I'd say it's a wrap for me, like y'all can finish the movie without me. I know some of y'all would've quit back at the dart game, but I'm no quitter, unless you staple my motherfucking tongue. But regardless, their next stunt is probably their coupe de grace, and probably should have ended the movie, but knowing them, that's too good to be true. So what's happening is Pritchard needs to regain his pride back from being knocked out, and the way he's gonna go about doing that is letting Poncho chop off a part of his pinky. Put my finger there, Jim. Am I gonna go- oh! And the deal is, is that if Pritchard actually gets his finger chopped off by Poncho, Dayton has to go in the middle of the street and sing karaoke. And, well, I'll just let you watch. Pancho, if you'd like you to sure, finger, Pritchard? Are you sure? <laughs> Time to mold. Definite? I can't even right. You ready? No. Three, two, one. Do you really want to hurt me? Obviously, I can't show you the chopping part, and to be honest, it's not like the whole knuckle like everyone's thinking, but it's- it's- nonetheless, it's still a pretty good chunk. He did! No! Fucking do! He did! No! Don't! 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 Fucking he did! Notice how most of them are yelling at him not to eat it? Well... Don't eat it! Do you guys even want me to go over the rest of the movie? Yeah? Okay, cool. So after Tokyo, they go on to Mexico, where their next sin that's waiting for them is gluttony. And nothing really exciting happens here. They get a guy whose actual name is Mike Cock to teach him survival techniques. And aside from them killing a scorpion and a spider with a knife, they actually kill a live chicken, cook it, and eat it. And don't think they use a knife on that chicken. Bro just slams it to the ground Cajun style. <laughs> But after that short visit with Mike Cock, they move on to their seventh and final sin, Greed. Where the first game they play is to see who can fit the most Monopoly money in their mouth. <laughs> then they play a game where they put whiskey in their eye, get kicked in the shin, and then act like a pirate. Two, one. <laughs> 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 The movie ends with a live auction of them doing stunts in front of a crowd, such as pulling a fish hook out of each other's ear and smashing a big pot over their head. And just when you thought it was over, they have a montage of stunts that I'm assuming didn't make it into the movie play during the credits. Some of those stunts being holding a frozen piece of poop in their mouth, sucking up their friend's snot bubble, and puke, sewing their mouth shut. And to top it all off, remember when I said Pritchard got that tattoo that he thought said, sleep when you're dead? Well, here's what it really says. What's this thing now? I love Johnny Knoxville. <laughs> well guys, that's it. If you really want to see the whole movie, there are tons of people selling the movie and TV show on eBay. Until next time. Peace. PP, fuck me. This place is a fucking wankville. <laughs> <laughs>